this was originally supposed to be for the Sunday supper for 2014, known for all cooks and bottles. But the mighty hunters failed to catch the elusive agus, so there was name to address over. Eight months ago, Her Excellency Mr. Stella Chavez Piero, Genai, would address the agus. So, if this gave finally, thank her. Can no, blame me. But first, some worthies, the past, present, and future monarchs and landed lairds. Ye are in for a treat. True, the best cuts of meat are reserved for your table. In fact, anything resembling meat is reserved for your table. But that is neither here nor there. There is 12% that ye would not get even, even to your wounds. Ye freely, graciously, and generously bestow this bounty on the 98% of the populace who hate no other meat. For this, we thank you. Our cooks magically transform us into a feast. Well, fit for the likes of me. When such a grand and rare addition comes to our table, it is our tradition to address it and to thank it for the blessings that it has brought us. This is no the first address to a haggis. It is but ain of money, but it's the brast and the best kent. Fair, far, your honest, sancy face, great chieftain all the pudding race, aboon them all, you tack your place. Paint, tripe with arrow, wheel of your worry, O oh grace. As long as my arrow, the groaning trencher, there you fill, your heart is like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend the mill in time of need. Or through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife, see rustic labor light, and cut you with many slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like ony ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight, warm, reeking, rich. The horn they horn they stretch and strive, deal tack the most on they drive to all their wolves while kites belive are bent like drums. The old good man may slight the ride, be like at home. Is there the or his French dragoon? Or oleo that would start a sewer? A fricassee that would make her spew with perfect sconer? Looks doom with snooting scornful view on sick of dinner. Poor devil, see him o'er his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank a good whiplash, his neve a knit, through bloody flood or field to dash. Oh, how unfit! But mark the rustic haggis fed. The trembling earth resounds his tread. Clasp in his wally leave a blade, he'll mack whistle, and legs and arms and heads will smid. Like pats of honey. Your powers will mock unkind your care, and dish them out their daily fare. All Scotland wants they skinking wear the jobs and luggies. But if you wish a grateful prayer, gear haggis 